what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your very first time joining me my name is jessica i'm a mother as well as a makeup lover of course today's video i was sent a pr package from pro Lux cosmetics so it was a huge box and there was so much stuff and so i really wanted to use as much of those products as possible um so we are gonna be doing the eyes and the and the face because we have a nice well round of like products here we have primers lip products liner face palette eye palette mascara you know we have the works so i'm gonna be mainly focusing on the prolux products but i'll be sure to leave everything that i used down below for you guys in the description box if you're curious about any of the other products that i used that were not a part of the prolux collection that they had sent me it's not all one collection but it's all from the one brand so these are the vibes i am obsessed with i love a good green look you guys know me i i love a green look with my eyes um but yeah these these are this is what we're doing today so um yeah don't forget to stay tuned until the very end of the video where i will do an up close of my makeup for you guys that way you can see the true beauty of the blend and if you're curious about my thoughts and opinions on prolux cosmetics the products that i received and used definitely keep on watching All right, so the products that I have used so far, um, I primed my face with the Blurring Mattifying Primer and the Luminous Glow Primer. I noticed right away that this isn't really giving me like that super dewy look. Like there is some definitely some dewiness to my skin, but it's kind of a little bit glittery. So if you don't like that, I don't know if you would like this, but the Blurring Primer, my skin feels like silk. So I wonder if that's going to affect my foundation at all. Um, but so far, I mean, it does look blurred. I mean, if it doesn't mess with my foundation, I could definitely use this as like, as like a no makeup, makeup primer, you know what I mean? So we'll see how like my regular makeup and stuff performs on top of it. But I did use two of the primers because I always like double up on my primers and I already moisturized and everything before I primed. Um, I just used my snail mucin like moisturizer, which I use every single day. Um, sometimes if I want to get a little crazy, I'll use like my Bobbi Brown one. So um yeah i primed the skin and then of course i just use my regular brow stuff and then the shadow shield um they sent over some shadow shields i just cut it in half and this is one half of it so i did create this look obviously using the predator palette and this is what she looks like i absolutely love the colors and also if you see like the iridescent of like the pans i really like that so i did already prime my lids with my um regular p louise base i'm gonna start by taking this blend bunny b1 brush and the shade breed which is kind of like teal green here and i'm gonna lay this down right along the tape kind of like kind of like smoky wing liner but the nice thing about shadow shields is that what i'm gonna do right here is right where my crease like meets the tape I'm gonna start bringing this up right into that crease area and when I'm blending I'm just gonna blend right along this line like nothing to it does that brush off I'm gonna take shade Raptor I was really inspired by the packaging of the palette so that's why I'm like you know what let me use the greens So I'm going to take this a little bit further on the inner corner and I'm just going to really focusing, I'm really just going to focus blending the top of this. And then I'm going to take this Morphe E17 brush with shade Dinosaurs. Again, bringing that a little bit further in and this brush is just a bit fluffier so I could really start diffusing that shade. And then I'm going to dust that same brush off and take shade T-Rex, which is a very like pastel kind of like mucky green. And this is going to be my lightest shade. So I'm going to keep this very high up close to that brow. I 
I feel like with the greens in this formula, I do have to work a little bit to blend like that medium shade right into those lighter shades. But I mean, it 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 blends, it blends. So not my favorite like green eyeshadow formula, but I could work with it, you know. I'm going to take my Unearthly Glimmer Grasp. Excuse me. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to cut the crease or anything. I'm just going to take this on my finger and tap this down on the lid so that glitter really has something to stick to. I think that's the most important part, especially with the loose glitters. You need something to stick to it. So I'm going to tap it down. There's two loose glitters in this palette. So we have like a gold and then this one's like, like look at all those colors. Mm hmm We're going to obviously go in with the colorful one. And just tap her right down. I really feel like we didn't need to cut the crease for that, you know? Because it's just, it's just laying right on top of it. They also sent over a waterproof gel liner kit. So it comes with the gel liner and then it also comes with a, with a duo sided brush. So we have like this brush is more like flat. You could use this for like liner, but I would use this for like putting it into my waterline. And then we of course have an angled side, which is the side I'm going to use today. I wanted to try to use as many of these products as possible. So what I'm going to do here is I'm really just going to coat the brush up. I love a good gel liner. And I'm just going to do a little half wing. And the first thing that I noticed was that there's a lot of glitter in that because I put glitter all over the lid. So I'm just going to take a flat brush with the shade Breed, which is the darkest green. And I'm just going to set over that gel liner to kind of quickly mattify it and also cover up that glitter that's on that liner. Go ahead and remove the shadow shield. So again, not my favorite eyeshadow formula. I feel like it's just not as seamless as I would like it to be. But I definitely, I was able to work with it. I was able to create this very beautiful eyeshadow. So there's that. The color story is so stunning too. I want to give the other shades a try before I make like a final decision whether I like the formula or not. Um, but they also sent over a mascara. This is their waterproof mascara. I don't really have a preference for mascara besides the wand. When I opened this, I was like, what? I've never seen a wand like this before. It's like a figure eight. So it's very intimidating, right? Cause like, I don't want to poke my eye out. And the, the, the front is bigger than the back. So I'm just going to use that ball to apply to my lashes. Voila. Um, I'm going to be taking the Beauty Creation Lashes because they didn't send over lashes. They also, um, the next, pretty much the next product that I'm going to be using is their um, bronzer, like their three shade face palette. So um, it has the bronzer, the blush, and the highlighter. So I'm going to go ahead and apply like all my creams set my face and then we come back and do all of the powder stuff and I'm also gonna have my lashes on they also sent me over a setting spray so I will use this as well and then some lipsticks so my face is on and I do have to say she's giving very very blurred um I feel like I need to exfoliate my face because right here is a little bit dry but I'm not gonna hold that against the primer because under my eyes it looks phenomenal phenomenal so so far super duper loving the blurring mattifying primer um so next up we have the extinct three shade face palette i think this is their only face palette which is a little bit disappointing because it's much suited for lighter skin um but i'm gonna be using the bronzer blush and highlight on this face here so this is kind of giving me more of like a cool tone bronzer, which is my preference for bronzer. So that's really nice. And I'm just going to go ahead and set that cream bronzer down. So this is like super kick up -y, but that's okay. I'm just going to take this big brush and gently 
top this down. It smells like baby powder, which is like a very pleasant scent for me. It's like not overly pigmented, but it's blending beautifully. It's not patchy. Those are the life goals when it comes to blush. So I'm just going to take this flat brush and the highlighter. It's called Eggs. So I'm assuming it's going to be like white. Yeah. It's definitely like an icy shade. Super blinding. This face palette passes the test. Look at that. And then I'm going to set my face. This is the Coconut Water Setting Spray. Mm -hmm. Definitely smells like coconut. Very fine mist. Okay. My kids broke my fan and I have yet to replace it. So we're just going to have to air dry. I'm actually going to finish up under my eyes. And I'm just going to take those same shades on a flat brush. I'm going to take the gel liner and I'm going to go ahead and pop that in my waterline. That always makes the best difference. So for lip products, the this collection, this collection right here does come with a clear gloss. I'll probably end up using this to top it off. Um, but, we, but we also have two long-lasting matte lipsticks and we have two long-lasting lip glosses i'm thinking the nude um but these are very pretty colors like i could definitely get behind this pink one but yeah i'm thinking this nude i'm thinking just this um knobby lip pencil in the shade brown because i always like to do a brown lip with like the green eyes Oh, that's so pretty. What? So what I typically like to do for lip gloss is I'll apply it in the center of my lip. And then I'll take a flat packing brush and blend it in. And now a clear gloss. Mm. It's like a gel gloss. Does that make sense? okay stop it right now here is the completed look i am obsessed with the lips the face products that glitter is not like creasing or chunking up okay let me give you guys the whole lowdown on everything that i've tried the mascara not my favorite wand it's supposed to be waterproof we'll see um, it's just the wand is the most important part of the mascara and I just feel like the tip of this was just a little bit too big. Um, so yeah, not my favorite, but I mean, it, it, it did what it did. It's a mascara. The gel liner kit, super creamy, very, very black. I love that the dual ended brush has lids. That's a very important thing to me because like when you have a like double sided brush, if you put it like, like this, you're going to smush one end of it. So it's nice that it has caps. I really like that great jawliner no issues there the luminizing or so i used two of the primers the blurring mattifying primer and the luminous glow primer i didn't feel like this gave the like the glowy dewy luminous vibes but i definitely think the blurring mattifying primer very very blurring my makeup is sitting on top of this beautifully absolutely no issues with this one there is one more the pore canceling primer which is i'm gonna try this one next um but so far the primers are probably my favorite thing out of this collection so far or like out of the products that they've sent me so far the predator eyeshadow palette the packaging is absolutely gorgeous the color story is stunning the shadows don't quite blend up to my standards but i am able to blend them out 
So if you love the color story and you don't mind kind of working for your blend, I think this is a beautiful palette. And the colors are definitely there. Just you guys know me. Blend Bunny makes blending effortless. So when I have to work for a blend, it's kind of a turnoff for me. But I mean, it's cute. Now the face palette, I wish they had more color stories for people who have, you know, tan to dark skin but this is really good for my particular skin tone i love the contour shade it's perfect for my again my skin tone my preference is a more cool toned bronzer so i think this is beautiful the highlighters absolutely gorgeous um so i do really like this i just wish that it came in deeper skin tones so everybody could enjoy it but i mean it works for me so that's a plus now i only tried the um matte gloss oh this is gonna be a favorite don't play me this is stunning stunning and the gloss is super like water like gel like and so i feel like it's not sticky and i love that it definitely looks so juicy i really like this gloss as well um they also sent over some mini blending sponges um, I didn't use these today, but these would be great for like, you know, getting in the inner corner, priming the eyelid. So I definitely love that. It comes in all different shapes and size, like all different shapes, not sizes. They're all one size. <laughs> They're mini, but it comes in all kinds of shapes. So I do really like that. Um, shadow shields are shadow shields. So I'm not really like, you know, it, it, it worked. Um, oh, the setting mist, right. I'm like, I know they sent me something else. The coconut setting mist set beautifully it does smell like coconuts so there's that very nice like spritzer no complaints there so all in all thank you so much prolux for sending all of this stuff my way i was very excited to try it and i definitely am pleased with majority of the products so i really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video definitely don't forget to like subscribe if you like me and if you like my content without further ado we're gonna go right on ahead roll the clip 